Matt Ogle with Vite Media, and I'm speaking with... Carl Apsek, head coach at Barber's Hill. All right, coach, entering year four as the head coach. Y'all recently went to round two of the playoffs. We're excellent in the district. Now you're moving districts and getting ready to play against some newer competition. So what's the mindset as y'all prepare for this upcoming fall? Well, I mean, we've set goals as a team to, uh, you know, to go out and compete for a district championship. And, uh, you know, that being the first goal and then, uh, you know, we want to get past the second round. You know, we've 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 gotten to the second round three years in a row and and uh, fell short. So our, our goal is to get past that. We want to win a district championship on the way. And uh, we're in a very tough district, so it's going to be a tough chore. But I think our guys have worked really hard in order to set themselves up uh, for the potential of doing that. Absolutely. It is a healthy mix, as I might have said before. I mean, Galveston Ball, Port Arthur Memorial, there are some big dogs in that district. So as you mentioned, reaching the second round last year, you played Richland, fell 48-47, to very close matchup. What do you think it's going to take for this organization to get over the hump and potentially reach an even deeper run? Well, I think, you know, as a, as a whole, we, we have to learn to finish. You know, we had, we had leads in all three games that we, that we lost last year, including that game against Richland, and uh, we've got to learn to finish uh, on both sides of the ball and, and uh, put people away when we get opportunities to do that. But, you know, uh, every year is a new year, a uh, new group of kids, new team, uh, new team uh, identity or chemistry, and, and our deal will just be to gel as, as a unit on both sides and as one team and then go out and, and play our tails off to give ourselves a chance to win. And, and if we do that, we'll put ourselves in that position and we get to the fourth quarter, we got to learn how to finish it. Awesome. All right. Uh, can you detail some of, the, some of the key contributors this year who you think will step up for your, uh, for your crew, this guy? Well, we do have four of our starting offensive linemen return. And, uh, you know, I think everybody that ever talks about football teams, it, the, the game starts up front. And then I think in that situation, we're in, in really good hands, you know, with those four guys that are coming back. And we've got a, a couple, three guys that are going to compete for that other spot that's that's open from, from graduation. But, you know, uh, Aiden Mooring is kind of the, the, the leader up front. He's a three-year varsity starter and uh, and a very good, fo- uh, very good football player. So excited about him. And and uh, Caden and Brady and uh, Dave Israel, all three, all four of those guys, had, you know, started every game last year that they were that they were healthy for, and and uh, they're good football players to boot. So between their experience and the fact that they're good football players, I expect them to be the leaders up front. Um, Zeke Cantu is going to take over at quarterback. Um, Zeke's uh, a great kid, uh, hard worker. I think he has the respect of his teammates. And because he's had to fight for everything he's gotten. And, uh, you know, he's going to be a senior and it'll be his first year to start. Uh, but it, I think it's his time and, and I think he's excited about that. And I know his teammates are excited for him. Uh, and then obviously, you know, Jaden Rodriguez in the backfield, uh, you know, was a second team all district last year, but with first team numbers. And, uh, you know, I ex- we expect very big things out of Jaden. He's a tremendously hard working young man. Uh, which is, is nice to see because he's also very blessed. And so to have some of your best players be your best workers uh, is always fun. Um, Trip Davis is back uh, and, and as a receiver, and uh, Cooper Lucas, uh, Kagan Morton, uh, Carter Wampler. Um, you know, all those guys were varsity returners from last year. A uh, very dynamic group in terms of speed and, and their ability. Uh, so I'm excited about them and, and what they bring to the table. and, and you know, so Zeke's got some weapons around him. He's got a, a group up front that should protect him. And I think they have a chance to be very explosive. And, uh, you know, defensively uh, up front, we, we have some really good guys back that, that played significant time last year. Uh, Bryce Jackson, Deshaun Carrington, Trey Clark, uh, Farmer, Mazza. Um, you know, all those guys played last year for us a uh, significant time. Uh, at linebacker, you've got Pacina back, you got Han back. Uh, Colton Edmondson back. Um, you know, those three guys will be the leaders back there in terms of uh, experience and, and, and played a lot of football. And in the secondary, you have Kel Dunham and, uh, and Braden Hamby back at safety. Um, and then you have Antoine Bolden and, um, what, and Smith back at corner. Um, and, and so between those guys, we have a lot of experience that may not have started every game last year, but they have a lot of experience playing on Friday nights. It won't be their first time to be out on the field with the big the big lights on. And and so I'm excited about how those guys lead some of our younger guys 
uh, and, and bringing them to speed on playing on Friday nights. Yeah, I mean, it's really nice to have that veteran leadership you can lead on. So you don't really necessarily, I mean, obviously you're gonna have your input to help them bring up themselves in this program, but with those veterans kind of showing them the way, I'm sure that's to, a little bit of a relief as a coach whenever it comes to fall season. All right, uh, last question. In the four years you've been here, what do you think has been your focal point or point of emphasis through each passing season as you bring in a new group of guys to your program? Well, I think one thing is, is trying to, to be inclusive of them, uh, but we're also trying to teach them the way that, that we believe uh, allows us to be successful. Uh, you know, that winning is not a part-time thing, it's a full-time thing. Uh, the work ethic that it requires to, to have that success. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a tough deal to be a champion. If it was easy, everybody would do it. And I think that's what we've tried to instill on, on, a, on a year after year basis. And, and uh, I think we've gotten more and more buy-in every year uh, because the way I do things is differently than it was done before. And, and it's no one right or the wrong, it's just different. And, and so we, we brought them up to speed to, to, to doing it the way we do it. Um, we had a great spring. Uh, we had great spring practices. Our summer workouts have been awesome. Uh, we just finished our Give Barley program, which is a leadership development, team bonding uh, ex experience. And, and so we're doing some things that we feel like will put our kids in a position to be successful. And, and that's what our goal is when we start on August 12th. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Coach. Really excited to see what y'all can do this year. Went nine and three a year ago. Hopefully this is the year y'all can go hold 16 games down the line. Uh, anyway, yeah, best of luck. I appreciate it. Thanks for having us.